Hey guys, Antics here, and welcome back to Project Ozone number two. And uh, I got a few tips and tricks to show you guys from my last recording session that I just figured out. Now, last recording session, I got my flux infused crook. Uh, and I began using this and attempt to get some silkworms, as you can see in my adventure, these little, uh, in the right hand corner right down there. Uh, those little creepy crawly things that I really do not like. Um, in an attempt to get some, I was using the Flux and Fuse Crook because that's how I read that you're supposed to do it. And uh, I did like four or five trees and never got a silkworm. However, I used my actual crook for maybe a tree or two and I immediately got three silkworms. So for some reason, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Just use your wooden crook to get silkworms. Now, another little tip that I figured out, I didn't really figure it out, it was just kind of obvious when you hit wood with a flux infused crook or uh well with a crook but it's a lesser to a lesser extent it is basically an axe it hit, it goes through wood extremely fast and uh you can basically use it as an axe now that's very useful because you're going to be needing a lot of wood to do all this stuff and uh i just want to take it through you guys real quick uh there we go guys voila we got some silk. Now these will, in about 100 seconds, be completely infested. Then you can break the leaves to get some sil uh, silk or something like that. Not really sure. And this uh, infected leaves will eventually spread to all three of these trees, I believe. Not really sure. Uh, last little tip that I tell you guys before we go shelter inside for the blood moon. If you run around... Oh, shit. If you run around, sprint around a tree, a sapling, they will grow extremely fast. If you guys can tell... When I run past it, there's this green little thing. That means that it's growing extremely fast, and it can use be used to grow you a tree farm extremely quick. Now, a blood moon is currently rising, which is really not good. You cannot sleep during blood moons, and they are terrifying. So basically what I'm going to do for the next 10 minutes this entire night is either we're going to find something to do inside, or we are going to just have this part of the video cut. And awkwardly enough... The tree that I actually planted in here actually grew. I had no idea. So as you guys can see, I'm hitting all of these trees with my flux infused crook, and I'm not getting any silkworms. Now if I switched to the actual crook, it might not happen because there's not that many leaves in here, uh, I might get a silkworm. There just seems to be a better chance for some reason. Uh, I don't think I actually got one, but uh, the point is already proven, I guess, uh, but whatever. <laughs> And as you guys can see, with the wooden crook, it does take longer, but I think it is maybe faster than with your hands, but obviously not faster than with the flux infused crook. So right now, guys, I, I cannot stress this enough. Do not go outside during a blood moon. You will get immediately owned and killed. It's not even funny how fast it's going to happen. The only reason I'm going to go outside real quick is so I can grab this torch. I noticed this as soon as I ran outside when I needed a torch last session uh, to kind of make that mine down there. Uh, I realized that there was one right outside as soon as I stopped recording and it became... Uh, became morning? That's the word I'm looking for. But anyway, guys, uh, that's just a few tips that I found out, and uh, I'm going to try to figure out something to do. Uh, so right now we need to make next is the sieve. Uh, and this will give us a compact giant chance cube. It sounds like a giant compact big box of death. And we're going to make a sieve. CF. Sieve? I have really big trouble pronouncing things. Um, I'll go into that in a little bit, but yeah, just don't judge me. Basically, when I was very young, I was reading way above everyone else. Ah, uh, there we go. So we need some silk mesh to actually make this, uh, which takes a bunch of string, which I guess you get string from um, the silk leaves. Um, basically, guys, when I was younger, I actually read at a college level when I was in like fourth or fifth grade. So I read all these words that no other fifth or fourth grader was using and I only read them and I pronounced them wrong in my head and uh, I've never corrected them basically I have a bunch of words that I've always read and heard in my mind and people never said them out loud to me so whenever I say them for the first time I say them wrong because I've only read them so butcher or butcher I always say is butcher which I believe is wrong I always get those two mixed up it's very annoying um, and there's a couple other that just like they always throw me throw me for a loop because I pronounce them in my head so different for so long and it uh, really sucks <laughs> anyway uh, I'm probably gonna cut this bit because I have nothing to do uh, so enjoy the next part 
All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I, it is daytime, 7 11. Uh, I'm in the middle of making like a little bit of a panic room because I heard massive banging on my doors from the zombies, and I was a little bit afraid that holy crap, they're gonna break in and take all my stuff and kill me. And this is hard mode, so let's not forget, I cannot die at least very much. So, uh, I quickly made a panic room, uh, nothing fancy. I was in the middle of just kind of making it look okay. Uh, when day I saw that it was daytime, so we're just gonna quickly uh, head outside and uh, see what our silk does. Now I was able to run outside during the night uh, very quickly and grab some string. Um, I'm not sure if you guys will see that. It kind of just consisted of me running outside and grabbing some string because I thought that I'd be able to grab enough, but I nearly died, so uh, it really was not worth it. Ooh, can I put that? Can I put that right here. Can I put that right here? There we go. Um, so really, you know what? We're just going to go outside right now and uh, leave the panic room. This panic room was nice for me, but uh, we got to move on. Now, I've eaten a couple of these uh, apples, so I'm going to check re real quick. Actually, the diminishing returns are not in on this mode, which is actually fantastic. Uh, but basically, guys, uh, another thing that I found out works really good on dirt also. This uh, little flux-infused crook is kind of like a multi-tool. I haven't obviously been able to try it on... Holy shit, that is a tall tree. Uh, obviously been able to try it on cobblestone, but whatever. Now that is a tall ass tree. I'm gonna have to get on top of that and cut that down. And holy crap, as you guys can see, this entire place is infected. Now I'm gonna try to stop the infection right here. It probably should not spread if there's not a leaf connection, I think. And oh, the Lord was looking out for me today, guys. If you did not realize what happened if you're a complete minecraft noob a creeper just snuck up completely behind me without me noticing and blew up and luckily absolutely luckily i did not die i don't even know how that happened holy crap that is absolutely terrifying so we're just gonna fill in this hole because i hate the holes that they leave in the landscape and i'm just lucky to be alive thank the lord and holy crap this is all like <laughs> this is all just silkworm to crap now, we probably don't need this much string, but whatever. We're going to need a lot of string to make a bed. Um, and the sieve, sieve, shit, I still haven't looked up how to say that. Uh, but probably not this much, but whatever. Uh, we're going to make it, and we're just going to kind of take all of this stuff. Um, and something that I realized also is this flux thing does not go down. So really, thank the mod. Oh, fucking hell, I'm going to die. I'm not good with heights. I'm literally gonna, just going to accidentally walk off some, walk off sometime. Uh, so just really thanks to the mod makers for looking out for us. Uh, we've got, uh, we actually get a couple of silkworms back for that. Uh, but I'm going to guess I don't need any more silk uh, for at least right now. Probably going to need a little bit later. But we're going to retreat back to our cave and uh, go make some stuff. Now, I kind of like uh, my little panic cave. It's uh, Once I get it working completely, have like an automatic, automatic door or something. It's just going to look like a wall. We're going to walk in here, as you guys can see. There is. Hmm, would it look better without this? Mm, not really. Whatever. It doesn't matter all that much. I'll make it look pretty off camera. But anyway, guys, we're going to make the sieve right now. So, uh, I just saw something come up. What is this? Woven cotton. Now, I don't know what that is. Uh, but we need two of these silk mes meshes. Uh, so we need that. And how do we make wool? So if I can have a thing, that'd be very nice. So uh, first we can make some cotton. Uh, we can make it with bone. Mm. Uh, how do we make cotton? I can't can't figure out how to actually make this stuff. How do we make some wool? How do we make string? What do we? What can we make with string? I don't know. I'll figure it out sometime when off camera. <laughs> Everything's just gonna be off camera. But anyway, guys, the thing that I do know how to do. Or I at least know how to look up, is the sieve. The sieve. I really don't know how to say that, and I feel like I definitely should. Basically, it's two of these silk meshes, four wood, and two sticks. You know, really easy to make uh, if you got the silk. So, we're actually probably going to need... Hmm, do we need more wood? I think we actually do. God, I spent all of my wood in that freaking little bunker thing, and I didn't even need it. So, I know this looks terrible. We're literally just going to take like a couple, couple pieces from here. We'll go up. Uh, jump on it from up top take it all the way down off camera everything is going to be off camera all the busy work and uh, this is just to be straight uh, building and all that stuff so 
We got the sticks. Boom. We got the silk. And we've got a sieve. That's probably how you say it. Not going to lie. So, uh, we're going to place this right up here against the wall. Basically what this does, you can put some dirt in it. Right click. And you're going to get a bunch of stuff out. So right there, I got... What am I getting out right now? Oh, with... Uh, with dirt, all you do is get stone out, which you can then make into cobblestone, and that is how you're supposed to get cobblestone. So uh, this is a time-consuming task, but we're going to see how much we get. We got 22 right now, so how much is this going to... What is this? What do we do with this? We need a hammer to make it into smooth stone, but I don't really care about a hammer. We just got to get... How do we make this into actual cobblestone? God damn. We also have a bunch of 3% or 1% of these seeds to drop when we're sieving dirt. Sieving. It's a sieve. Gosh dang it. It's a sieve. I know how to say this. I'm literally retarded. And we actually did get something. We got a birch seed. That's absolutely awesome. That's going to be some great... I think that's wood, I think. Yeah, it's definitely wood. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go check the quest book and see if we can get any rewards or something like that. And... Sorry if I keep on pressing escape. That is the inven inventory slot or inventory button on Terraria. And uh, we can claim our reward or go like that. Gosh dang it. And I keep on pressing because I've been playing a lot of Terraria, getting ready to record everything. Uh, so we got that. And we got a dirt chest, which is a crap, crap reward. Well said. Jesus Christ. I was really expecting something great out of here. It does kind of look cool, though. Yeah, it looks awesome. How to use your dirt chest. 9,000. Welcome to your new Dirt Chest 9,000. We hope you enjoy many happy years of storing your stack of dirt in our storage utility. You should simply insert the stack of dirt of your choice into the highly receptive slot and enjoy the great convenience of having that dirt available to you anytime you pass by this chest. Hope you have enjoyed reviewing this instruction manual. <laughs> warranty, this problem has no warranty of any kind of dirt may not be stored in the situation in the environment. This may not do anything at all. Uh, who does, who, who has that amount of time? Who has that much time on their hands to do that? I don't know. I certainly don't. I know that. And how do I make cobblestone out of this? Honestly. Not like that. That's for sure. Not like that. Whatever. You know what? I'll figure it off. I'll figure it out off camera. But anyway, we're going to go to the cut quest book. And what is next? Now we can create sieving montage number one. We need a rubber sapling and seeds. Now that will give us a chance cube and some reward bags. Um, so basically, this is the grindy part. Uh, basically, I have to go grind a bunch of dirt and just kind of see what happens. Now that does not sound like a lot of fun to me, but I guess we kind of have to do it. Um, so you know what? I'll use this time to talk about Christmas. Christmas is coming up, guys, and I am so excited. And oh my god, I just saw some seeds. So I'm actually going to clear my hop ore. So I see if I can get some seeds. There we go, guys. We got some seeds. Now we just need something else. But anyway, guys, back to Christmas. Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I am. And I am so excited for Christmas this year. I'm moving out to college next year, which just sounds crazy to me. College? Me? Holy crap. Does not sound real, but you know. It is what it is, and it's going to happen whether I like it or not, so might as well be excited about it. God damn it. I'm trying to have an open slot in my hotbar, so I'll see if I get a rubber sapling. And uh, I'm just really kind of happy that it's going to be my last Christmas. I'm also sad that it's going to be my last Christmas because I'm moving out. If you are a senior in high school, you kind of know what I feel like probably um, because it's really – it's it's a strange feeling, and it's just – it's real weird. It is very, very weird, and I just don't know what – I, should I rejoice? Should I be not happy? Should I try to hold on to it? I don't know. Uh, but there we go, guys. We got a rubber tree side seed, which I guess we can plant and make that into a rubber tree. You know what? That makes a certain kind of sense. Can we just plant this right here? Oh, there we go. And there we go, guys. We got a rubber sapling. And we've already completed another quest. Now, I need to dump my inventory because I've got so much crap. And I just realized I spent all that wood creating all these chests when I had one right outside. I didn't need this many chests. I just made it for purposes. Uh, I'm retarded. The blood moon is rising again. Oh, my gosh. I'm staying inside again. This is going to be bad. So, anyway, guys, let's claim this reward. Gravazone's head. That's nice. 
Um, and we got a reward bad bag. And we got a packing tape? Let's hold shift on this. Seals drawers from moving. Cool. I'm really going to use that. So anyway, guys, let's check out the quest book one more time. And uh, then you guys can go and I will stay alone weeping my eyes out as zombies pound on the door. Uh, but anyway, guys, now we need lava generation. So uh, what do we need to do? Generate lava through melting cobblestone in a crucible. Need to melt four to five cobblestone for a full bucket. Melt ender literally says... Let me see for president. Ender, cool. Uh, so we need some clay, which is basically using the barrels that we already have. Um, we can learn to tinker, which is going to be awesome because I love the tinker mod. Seeving montage number two, where we get topiary grass and all this stuff. Um, I think we have to grow these or something? What? Boo grass, two mil. I don't know. Uh, so we got lava generation, seeving montage number two, learning to tinker, and. Oh, wow. And pound the ground for the cobblestone, which should be pretty soon. And then, hey, oh, so we need a, uh, don't really know how to do this, but I'll do it off camera because, you know, making cobblestone is honestly probably not that enjoyable to watch. But anyway, guys, we've unlocked a second quest line, a seed analyzer. So we need to make a seed analyzer and probably some other stuff. And uh, I'm actually a huge fan of Botania. Um, not really the whole in-depth magical stuff, but I just like making the crops and making really cool crops because you can create uh, just so many, so much cool stuff. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to be going into this, guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching episode two of our Modern Minecraft series. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. So uh, peace off. Have a nice Merry Christmas. This should probably go out before Christmas. I don't know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.